When physical amplification is not required when using the Unison technology, or circuit nonlinearities are not desirable, the 1073 Legacy EQ provides a spot-on, linear emulation of the 1073's 3-band EQ and passive cut filter. Because the Neve 1073 Legacy version does not include nonlinearities, it uses significantly less UAD DSP resources than the newer version. So the Neve 1073 Legacy version can be used when you're going for a very clean sound. In this example, I've duplicated the bass track, and we're going to listen to it through the Neve 1073, the new version, and the Legacy version. I match the EQ settings so they're the same, but before we listen, I want to show you something. Watch this meter, and watch what happens when I engage the new Neve 1073. Right now we're at 31% because we're using plugins on the way in. So when we engage a mono instance of the new Neve 1073, it goes up to 39%. Join us that there's a 7% DSP usage on a mono instance. Let's turn that off. Now let's engage the legacy Neve 1073. It goes from 31% to 32%. So this shows you that you can use way more instances of the original legacy Neve 1073 than the newer one, if you're just using it for mixing. Okay, so let's listen to this bass pass and then we'll switch between these plugins. So let's engage the legacy version. We're boosting a little bit of the mic pre, cutting out the highs, taming 1.6K, and boosting 35 cycles, as well as we're using the low cut filter at 50. Now we're going to switch to the new Neve 1073 with the same exact settings. There we go. So to my ears, they're virtually the same. There are some very, very subtle differences, but it's probably a 1% or 5% difference. So for being able to use less DSP, I would definitely advise using the Legacy Neve 1073. However, if you're tracking through the Unison preamp technology on the Apollos, use the new Neve 1073 on the way in to capture that classic sound. One last thing I'll mention is that there is a Neve 1073 SE Legacy version, which uses even less DSP. The reason being is that this is not an upsample plugin. So if you want to be conservative with your DSP usage, I also advise to use this version. So this concludes this section on the Neve 1073. Moving on from the year 1970 to 1973, let's take a look at Rupert Neve's designs with the 8048 console. 